Welcome to Audio Tree Live. Today is January 19th, 2018, and today we have Lamelda with us in the studio. Take it away whenever you're ready. Wrap your arms around me, I'll be still. If it means nothing, I could give it up.
you watching Audio Tree Live with Lamelda? Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank it, you. It sounds amazing in here. Seriously, I I, it's, I really love hearing this live because I've been listening to uh, your record that came out in September mm -hmm. for a while, and just hearing it live is pretty amazing. Um, but I have a few questions, the hard-hitting ones first. Um, so I see on your social media a lot that you uh, you like basketball. Yes. And are you a player or are you a fan or both? Um, I'm a lover. I'm a player. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> I feel like that's a good start to a to a song of some kind. That's that's the start of every song. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Mm -hmm. Do you uh, did you grow up playing basketball? Uh, yes, I was on the Lady Panthers mm -hmm. uh, and Little Dribblers. Nice basketball league. Uh, I played in middle school. Um, I was on the A team. Brag, no brag. Um, we what? weren't weren't very good though. <laughs> what position did you play? Uh, point guard. Oh, okay, I'm gonna be honest here. I know very little about like the like specific uh, positions of basketball. I know that point mm. guard is the most important one. Correct. Mm. Uh, you could lie, you know, and I would believe you. Well, I mean, it's a team sport. Mm -hmm. That's true. <laughs> Oh, that's very. That's a very good answer. <laughs> did uh, Andrew? Andrew? Did either of you grow up playing any uh, sports? Absolutely not. No. no. <laughs> I did, but it was a mistake. What sport did you yeah. play? Uh, basketball, baseball. Nice. I even played football. Oh, that's like, news to me. me. <laughs> when did your football career uh, cease? Well, it, it was just one short. Well, it felt long. One yeah. long year. Um, mm -hmm. I was on B team, which is like the worst. But then there's this one time where they made a C team. And <laughs> I made the cut <laughs> for that. Oh, no. How did it feel in the moment? It was, it was, it was a good resolve. Yeah. I, was, I was, you know, I already knew I didn't want to mm -hmm. play football anymore. So. You're like, this is it for me? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, dreams crushed, but it's okay. Yeah. I moved on. I'm glad. Yeah. I'm glad you you got you're stronger for it. You know, look at you yeah. now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> look at me now. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you follow like professional basketball at all? Uh -huh. You uh, what? What's your what's your team? Uh oh! Pff. Oh my God! As you can see here, uh, are you a Golden State <laughs> Warriors fan? Representing the Golden State Warriors. Bay Area. Bay Area. California represent why the Bay Area because you're from Texas right yeah um no they're just the best team okay like objectively yes yeah <laughs> yeah mm -hmm. well I'm glad well then you you've put your uh your allegiances in the right place it seems well I, I you know I just like to watch good basketball is that's all. good the Rockets are are are, are good mm -hmm. they're from Houston um they're they're very good um He's from San Antonio, which is where the Spurs are from. Mm -hmm. I, I hate the Spurs. <laughs> Say, I don't have an I feel opinion. Like you hate me, kind of. Go Spurs, go, is what that. he would say. <laughs> uh, Mavericks, cool. Nice. Um, yeah, yeah, you know. Um, I, uh, you know, I like it. I like it all. I nice. watch. I like the. Uh, I like to watch the slam dunk contest mm -hmm. and River Harlem girl. Blah, 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 blah. Were you ever oh, Harlem? That's, that's my Trotter? favorite team. Yeah. Yeah. Same. I like the tricks. All of the NBA. That's my favorite team. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> nice. <laughs> There's an Instagram account called break ankles daily that just shows, um, <laughs> like highlights and stuff, yeah. <laughs> um, from throughout the decades mm -hmm. and, um, I highly recommend Of people it. breaking their ankles? Oh, um... <laughs> <laughs> that sounds bad. That's not, is it just of, like, people, like, dunking? Um, no, it's of various basketball feats. Oh, okay, I gotcha. That are impressive. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay, well, everyone check that out. Maybe after this session. Don't leave yet. Mm -hmm. uh, because you got a few more songs. You got a lot more songs, but let's mm -hmm. hear the next one. Sleep a 
Tree Live with Lamelda, your voice at the end there, so cool, so good. You have such an in, like a really cool voice. I love it. It actually reminds me of uh, Kimya Dawson. You... Oh, cool. Yeah. yeah. One time, the only time I I've ever felt like, or wow, that's not. I take it all back. <laughs> Someone once told me, K 
Kimya Dawson and, and, and Nora Jones <laughs> mixed together. Interesting. And I thought that was like a very high compliment. That is a very high compliment. And a strange combination. A little, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> um, yeah, I definitely hear the Kimya Dawson. Maybe I just haven't listened to Nora Jones in a while. You know, listen to some Don't Know Why later to see if I can see the parallels. Um, come away with me. Oh, in the night. there we go. <laughs> Perfect that, record. That's like, probably against it, the law. That is a perfect record. It a great, is very good. So good. Um, speaking of records and music, <laughs> great segue. Um, so if you could walk me through your songwriting process a little bit, because to me, listening to your songs, there's something about them that feels simultaneously very like stream of consciousness, but also very like, you know, meticulous and a lot of work being put into it. So how do you approach songwriting in general? Mm, mm, the songs on Thanks were written um, um, mostly as as f- as sort of fragmented lines, um, mm. and uh, I would just keep track of, of of a phrase or a melody that um, seemed meaningful to me or, or significant in some way uh, or emotional, um, and um, um, sort of just you know just wait. And uh, s- uh, until they became a song. Yeah. So is there like a note on your phone that sort of just has like just lines or something? There are something? very many, yeah. And yeah. It, it gets a little confusing. Sometimes I um, uh, don't separate out the uh, the songwriting phrases or, or, you know, memory little notes uh, from, from like grocery lists <laughs> and... Um, yeah. Other other uh, to do list. Yeah, you know, so it'll like, be like buy bananas pack. and then like a beautiful line, be like wow. same same thing. Yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. um, and your songs are pretty vulnerable. Uh, is do you ever tire of going on stage each night and like bearing your soul to an audience? Yes. <laughs> I mean, it's hard <laughs> like to go on stage and then be like. Okay, so here are my deepest feelings. Mm -hmm. And then you get off stage and you're around a bunch of strangers. Right. Well, and and then you go to the merch table. Yeah. (laughs) Uh Do people ever talk to you about things that you wish they wouldn't talk to you about? Based off of, like, their songs, not just, like, in general. (laughs) Uh, um, No. Okay. Uh, Occasionally, like, uh, maybe, like, like, a old boss or like a family member or something mm-hmm. hears them and then I'm like wow I wish you didn't know that about yeah me yeah <laughs> I totally understand that <laughs> it's a very weird uh thing but um when did you start writing songs uh when I was a kid mm-hmm. I, um I got a guitar and pretty much immediately just uh I wanted to play it so I had to write something yeah cool <laughs> All right, well, I'd love to hear the songs that you've written. Thank you so much. My dad's texting me. Okay.
So before we go into the last song, uh, so you, tonight you're playing actually a sold out show at Shuba's with a pretty stacked lineup. It's like Snail Mail, you guys, Steph Shura, mm -hmm. um, Rap Boys, mm -hmm. and then Bunny, which mm -hmm. is a local band. Mm -hmm. um, so to me, it feels like that's like you're sort of like part of a, a pretty cool scene. Do you ever feel like like with the bands that are on that bill, and then also I don't know people like Pine Grove and Florist, and do you do you feel like you're a part of sort of a a scene right now? Definitely. 
have met a lot of really nice people mm-hmm. uh, in the past, like, you know, um, year in, in that list that you mentioned. Um, uh, that has been really inspiring and um, uh, nice because mm-hmm. um, we're from Texas and none of those folks that you just listed are from there. Mm-hmm. Um, and so, yeah, so our, like, our, like, uh, our scene um you know doesn't you know as in you know where we set our lives uh doesn't include any of those people except for the fact that we play music and go on tour and um that sort of thing so I feel really uh lucky to know people who make inspiring artwork and yeah those are some of those people (laughs) yeah um have you found that in the past year knowing these people like increases your not necessarily ability but like you can collaborate more and you sort of just do you hop around between bands and maybe like support people or play mm. in each other's bands or at all? Um, yeah, there's some of there's some of that. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, Andrew's a great drummer. He should drum for everyone. Yeah. Um, from Alex a- Napping, yeah. yeah. Yeah, Alex. But yeah, so Alex we know from from Texas, even though she doesn't live there anymore. But. Um, and yeah, like we play in Howdy as well sometimes um, when we can, and and uh, yeah, it's just you know, uh, yeah, I guess you know you want to play with with your friends, and yeah, that is how the bands get formed. Yeah, I, guess. <laughs> I don't know. It's pretty awesome though to like to to have a bunch of friends who are in these like amazing bands. Yeah. Yes, I agree. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, so you talked a little bit about your local scene. Mm -hmm. Where are you from? You're from a small town in Texas, right? Yeah, I'm from a town called Silsby, Texas. Um, that's in Southeast Texas. uh, Yeah. Small. What, was there any music playing in your town growing up? Um, yeah, some, um, um, there were, there were some, some, you know, kid, everybody needs rock and roll when they're a teenager. So So true. Uh, um, so there was that, yeah. and, um, um, I, my brother plays music, and, uh, I actually kind of grew up playing in his bands, um, mm-hmm. so we did that, and, and, uh, now he's actually in Soulsby and has built a, uh, built a recording studio there that's pretty incredible, um, so sort of, a destination yeah. spot now, um, to, for recording, which is cool. That's awesome. Did you record any of your albums there? Um, well, we recorded the most recent record, Thanks, together, mm-hmm. but we hadn't um, built the space yet. Oh, okay. So, um, um, yeah, so not in the studio, but it was it was the two of us making it. So That's awesome. Mm-hmm. Cool. All right, well, thank you so much for being here, and I'm excited to hear the last song. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry if lately I don't want to fight I keep waiting all night to go out of my mind If you've got a reason, I'm sure that you're right It's not bad to be right But if you know why Don't you tell me why Sorry if lately I give up to quit Go flying down
this to drive. Thank you. Thank you. That was beautiful. Uh, this has been Audio Tree Live with Lamelda. If you want to see her, she's on tour right now with Snail Mail. Uh, unfortunately, and but fortunately for you guys, the uh, the show is sold out tonight. So catch her elsewhere. <laughs> um, and her album Thanks is out now on Double Double Whammy Records. I want to thank everyone on Audio Tree who keeps this show going. The camera and lighting crew, the audio engineers, specifically Claire and Austin. And then uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. See you next time. Thank you very much, everybody.